In our previous video, we showed that microbes can manage to infiltrate the plant leaves when the stomatal pores are open. I put the link of that video in the description below. In this video, I'm gonna show you how the plant can defend itself against this microbial invasion. It's actually a cool battle, so watch it to the end. It's a natural response of a stomatal pores to open in light. Let me tell you how this happens. On the plasma membrane of a stomatal guard cells, there are proton pumps that get activated by light exposure. These pumps transfer hydrogen ions outside the guard cells that hyperpolarize the plasma membrane. The hyperpolarization can open up the voltage-gated potassium channels, transferring potassium ions into the cells. Accumulation of more ions inside the cells drops the water potential and therefore pulls the water molecules into the cells, causing them to swell. Finally, the pre Peripheral fiber orientation inside the cell walls of swelling cells leads to their deformation in length rather than in radial direction. This results in stomatal opening. The open stomatal pores are tempting gates for microbes to enter the leaf tissue. However, this mission is not always successful. Over time, plants have evolved defense mechanisms against bacterial invasion. The first and foremost line of defense is the stomatal closure as a result of bacterial perception. On the surface of guard cells, there are specific receptors that can sense bacterial surface nanostructures. Physical contact of bacteria with these receptors induces synthesis of specific hormones such as abscisic acid inside the guard cells that can interrupt the proton pumps. In that case, the plasma membrane is no longer hyperpolarized, leading to potassium ions to leave the guard cells. This increases the water potential inside the cells, pushing the water to leave the guard cells and shrink them to close the pore. Despite this smart defense of the plant, sometimes the bacteria can figure it out and open up the stomatal pore again. Yes, they are good problem solvers. And one of their solution to this problem is chronotime. Some bacteria can inject chronotime into the guard cells. Upon injection, chronotime would resemble jasmonic acid, a plant hormone that is involved in the stomatal opening. Therefore, coronatine can reactivate the proton pump on the guard cell membrane and finally lead to inflow of water into the cells, reopening the stomatal pore. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.